so I will uh, first uh, show you some sc screenshots. So this is JPoker, and this is what I will talk about. So it's a poker client, and I will explain why we've done it. Uh, we've done a web poker client because it requires a node download, um, and because everybody can access the client since everybody has a browser. Um, because we can use a URL to point to turn your table, because we are in the web. Uh, because browser is good at displaying 2D, so targeting the browser for 2D poker clients makes sense. And it's easy to customize because you can change images and you can do some CSS. So the project history is, is that it started with an Ajax hack, which was just displaying images and logs about what is going on on the poker server. Then Loic Dashawi took over the development, and from there, uh, four companies have funded development and customization of the client. So how does it work? Um, it's pulled the... Um, Poker server using HTTP request. The server reply with J JSON packet. And then from that JSON packet, it decides to hide or show HTML element, or to craft new or to update existing HTML element. And when you click a button, like a regular input, it sends JSON back to the server. So how is the table displayed? Is fixed position divs with skin with dynamic image and text. And you can see here, it look, the default skin looks like that. So each image you see here is a, is a div, and it's all being animated with CSS. So there is also not only the table, but also the lobby, which is good as displaying table list, tournament list, user info, cachet, how the amount of money you have, and search box for searching for a particular table or player. So this is how the widget looks like. So this is for editing user information. This is just a regular forms. And this is a tournament lobby. When you can see what is going on, there is a, a tournament and the, with only one player. <laughs> Obviously, it's fake. And uh, there he, he has one, so he has this price. And this is the regular list of table when you can cling to when you can can click to join. So when we are doing a web app, so we've seen it's great to target the web for, uh, for poker client, but there is also drawbacks. There is the cross browser issue, because uh, you have many, many different JavaScript implementations, many different CSS implementations, and debugging it, for example, in Internet Explorer could be a mess. So we, we had to uh, we, we had to add some code in order to be able at least to print, to print a stack trace on uh, each browser. So for that, for dealing partially with cross-browser issue, we are using jQuery because there are tons of existing plugins. It, it helps a lot with cross-browser issue and there is a nice API. Here you can see how we are binding the quit element when clicked to send a packet to the server. But uh, thanks to thanks to jQuery chain, we can also say that we want to add a CSS class when overhead and define the markup for the button here. And for helping also with cross border issue, we do a lot of tests. So currently, JPoker is like uh, 5,000 line of code, and but there is twice li twice as that line of test, like 10,000 line of test. There is 300 independent tests, and they provide 100% coverage of, on the code base. So this is how the test runner looks like. So you have many tests, and you look at the scroll bar is only at the beginning. And this is the coverage report, which is outputted by GS coverage. And this is a regular jQuery test runner, which is called QUnit. And here you can see that we have 100%. But uh, obviously, it's an old version because there are only 2,000 lines of code. Um, for the beginning, we, use, we rely on Firebug. It allows to browse the DOM state in live, to break into JavaScript code, to watch JavaScript variables. And it also provides an interactive JavaScript console as well as live editing of DOM of CSS. So this is how does it look like. When I focus on a particular element, I can see, I can edit the CSS. So it's w very well integrated into the browser, and we are happy to have a uh, Firebug to help us to develop JPoker. 
So about the layout, you've seen that there is a lot of uh, fixed position elements. For bootstrapping the layout, we relied uh, on Inkscape. So we could uh, place using Inkscape uh, the element as images and then export it to SVG and convert the SVG back to HTML and fixed position CSS in order not to have to type fixed position for each element. So it does look like that. So here you have the default scheme and you see that uh, there is one element for each player and this is SVG. We run a small Python clip on it and it gives back to us the position of the element in CSS. So for skinning, uh, we add image on existing HTML element uh, using CSS and we also have skin, skin test case because uh, when you are doing a game, it could be difficult to reproduce every game scenario possible because uh, if you want, for example, to display something special when two players are all in, you have to log in two players, create a game and having them to put all the ships and then being in the all-in situation. And for that, we have skin test case which are just faking the, the server and sending the client to the sending the packet to the client so we don't have to do manual click to go in a particular situation. So it, that's also helped to deal with cross-browser visual issue. So you can fire the same test case on many browsers and see if visually it looks the same. Oh. Oops. What? What? Ah, so this is the bad images, sorry. <laughs> Um, so for integration, um, jQuery is just a, a set of um, uh, poker is just a set of jQuery plugins. So for displaying the table, you just hook on a div and say I want to display the table. If you want to display a tournament list, you hook on a div, which is a container, and says that you want to display the tournament list. Um, it can it's only a JavaScript file, so it could it could go in a single HTML page. If you want to replace um, the contents, for example, you click on a table on, uh, in the table list and you want the table to display, you can just replace the, content, the container by the, by the table. Or it could also have link and point to its support permalink. So if, if, jQuery, if a web page is open and jPoker is included in it, it looks at the URL and if there is a game ID in it, it can start joining automatically the table and display it. Uh, for integrating into your website, uh, you can override templates. So they, they are just JavaScript variable where you can put some HTML in it. If you want to have a different um, DOM structure, for example, for each row of the table list, you have a row template when, where you can put custom HTML and you have callbacks. For example, if you want uh, some JavaScript code to be executed uh, when you are integrating with GA Poker, for example, when someone click a table to join, you want to display a pop-up, say, are you sure do you want to join this table? You could do it using callbacks. There is also good support for internalization. We have a translation in 12 language. Um, these are, there are two kinds of translation, client-side and server-side. For client-side, we are using get, get text and um, jQuery, and jQuery uh, plugin, which is called jQuery get text. And we just have a PO file which are translated into JSON and loaded immediately into the page. And for server-side translation, it's handled by the server and we tell the server which local we have and then the server, when you have to send us some string, translate it, them in the good language. So ah, we can see all of it. So there are many contributors. Uh, there is Loic, who took over the project. That's me. That's Sack, who have done uh, with is, who is in the in the in this <laughs> in this room and have done a lot of CSS work. There is Vin Vincent Jay, who has contributed many graphics. There is Tom Vessen, who has done some JavaScript work. There is Pierre Bull. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I know him only on IRC. No, so I uh, maybe have. Uh, misunderstood his name, but um, he has done a lot of work into Drupal integration. There are Shandan, who are working on to PHP integration with jPoker. Ulrike, who do a lot of CSS work, and many companies, uh, Outflop, Skyrock, Let's Poc, and Pokermania, who have funded custom development. So recent development, uh, 
there have been recent develop these are the recent development into JPoker. We have way more, skin, way more skins now, which are only CSS and image file. There are also uh, blocking poles implementations. Before, before that, JPoker was asking every five seconds to the server, is, this, is there something new? Is there something new? And when, the ser when there were nothing, the server were just reply replied with an empty response. No, uh, JPoker is um, the, cl the connection is blocking until there is an answer from the server. So it reduces a lot the latency. There is animation. For example, when you win some chips, they go back to your player. There are some soons. So we are just um, we convert some OJJ file to SWF using some SWF tools, and then we insert the SWF into the DEM document and just play the sound. There are support for multiple windows. So you can, have a, you can have multiple sessions in multiple tabs if you want to play at more than tables at a time. And there is an Opel social gadget, uh, which just is an XML file which embeds the JPoker code and allow it to, um, allow to embed it in existing social network. And there is Drupal uh, integration, where Pierre has worked a lot. And, uh, uh, it is relying on the Opel social gadget in order to integrate it into Drupal. So, if you have any question, um, I will show you. Uh, I will just show you a video first um, because uh, there are only been screenshot and it could be nice to have video. Uh, I will. The, this is on page of the project. The license is HGPLv3. And if you have no more question, you can go. To, if you have more, if, <laughs> after the question, you could go. You could go play on this URL if you want. Um, oop. Show. I will just show you a video which is a skin case which is showing, showing all the elements of the game. So you can see. Uh, uh, so this is a list of skin case. We click on it and it simulates all the packets that we can receive from server. So you see the rest of stuff with animation. Okay, that's it. So we have three minutes left. So do you have any question? Yes. <laughs> uh, so the question is: uh, Do we support Internet Explorer six? Uh, so yes and no. Uh, at the beginning of the project, they have been testing uh, done in Internet Explorer 6, but uh, we have not made that testing anymore. So the correct answer is I don't know. And the nicest answer, the nicer answer will be that you could figure it out by just running the test suite in Internet Explorer. Uh, if there is some red, that means that it's not supported. <laughs> yes. Okay, so the question is, do we provide a ready-to-go stack uh, for the client and the server? The short answer is, uh, no, we don't have Clued Let's Image yet for, for uh, the, the whole stack. The nicer answer is, yes, we have uh, Debian packages for the server, for the client, and Fedora packaging as well. So the stable version is currently in Fedora and... Um, and uh, and Debian and Ubuntu and the last unstable version is uh, in our repository uh, with all the animation stuff. We are but we have a building farm packaging farm which is providing ready to go devs and RPM for for each distribution. But it does not the last version is not pushed into Debian yet. Uh, yes. Uh, it depends because um, we don't maintain a website where user can play. We just uh, providing the software. So there is a, when you go to this URL, you will see no user. But for uh, we are also selling services and development. And some the biggest user base we have is uh, on a website called Skyrock, which have like 200 and 500 user playing on the stable version. But uh, that I mean, th that's just a customer running the same copy of the software, so... 
Any more questions? So one minute left. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's a very, that's a very, that's a very good question. Uh, what? Ah, oui, yes, sorry. Uh, how do you debug uh, JavaScript into other browsers than uh, fi uh, Firefox? So, SAC, uh, we use SAC, which is in the, <laughs> in the room. <laughs> we have a very good uh, Internet Explorer debugging skill. And basically, it's, it's used, uh, it's eased by the test. Because uh, when we run the test, we first try to write a test that reproduces the issue that we, when we see a bug, and then we have a, a way to reproduce the error, and then we can even debug with alert and stuff because it's, uh, it, ah, it's not difficult to put in condition to reproduce the bug when using test. Okay. So thank you. <laughs>